This limping Rottweiler was so badly injured, he could barely get around. The veterinarian ultimately had to remove his leg. The dog got this way after living here with 75 other Rottweilers in the back of this home on Derby Road in Wallkill. They said a lot of the fencing is caving in. There was even um, boards with nails sticking up that were in the kennel runs. We were throwing tons of just piles of garbage and things out of the, the kennel runs. Police arrested Sylvia Panetta on two charges of animal abuse. She was arraigned and released, and we ran into her chaining up the private road to her home today. What was going on there? What were you doing? Were you selling them? But she had nothing to say to us. Police say the dogs were living in these filthy white igloos, stepping over nails, eating only stale bread. It's, it's really sad. There's, there's quite a few dogs that, um, there's two who are, are really, really deformed. Their legs are just turned in. They can barely walk. So that was really hard to see there. Rescuers say Panetta was breeding the dogs to sell them, but didn't have a kennel license. 15 to 20 dogs in immediate danger were removed today, but the town couldn't find a shelter large enough to place the rest of the dogs. I, I don't think that any local agency in any jurisdiction would be prepared for this type of onslaught of uh, animals in such a stressed environment. The dogs that could not be rescued today are still in that house with that same woman, although the conditions have improved greatly. Late tonight, we heard word that an organization called Pets Alive has agreed to take in the rest of the dogs. Reporting from Wallkill, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.